Standardized testing is something that all students have experienced sometime in their lives, and that common feeling of stress that comes with these tests. I myself have even had my Chromebook sign me out of the test and then I had to start it all over again. These frustrations are felt by a majority of students and I interviewed some just to give more insight on what they thought. I personally think that standardized testing is a waste of time because it takes away from the actual class time and learning time with the teacher and it causes a lot of extra stress on the student that they don't really need because everyone has this standard that we have to get a certain grade in order to do well and I just think that's a lot of unnecessary pressure that students have. My thoughts on standardized testing. Um, I think standardized testing is a subpar way to um, acquire the total um, knowledge of a student. I think much more goes into uh, what a student knows than just how well they do on a test. Many people perform poorly on tests. So I don't think that's the best um, way to figure out how students are in certain classes, I think more accurately would be their performance throughout the year on a class where you see their um, effort and abilities on, um, on both tests and uh, projects and stuff like that. I think that's more of an accurate way to figure out someone's ability in a class. I'm totally against standardized testing. I know my dad's a teacher over at AI Root and he's against it as well just because when you have these classrooms and with these all these students it's difficult to grade a teacher based on these standardized testing just because some people don't put in forth the effort for the standardized test and can't base a teacher off of the scores of a student when they're not trying, that there's no repercussions if they don't do well on it. And another factor is you have so many different students and how they learn that you can't accommodate for everything else. In a standardized test, it has to be universal for all students, and it's just difficult to uh, determine how well they're doing on it based on the standardized tests, just because they're different learning. In an article by Jesse Hagopian, even President Obama admits that unnecessary testing is consuming too much instructional time and creating undue stress for educators and students. This is rare for a president to deny a very defining part of one of his own education policies. So even the president knows something is up. Teachers are now not only teaching students to learn the course topic, but now they are teaching to the tests. In the article by Jesse Hagopian, it states that as long as the tests continue to demand that students' graduation and teachers' evaluation or pay are determined by these tests, test prep will continue to crowd all the things educators know are vital to teaching. According to a study by the Council of the Great City Schools, the average student today is subjected to 112 standardized tests between preschool and high school graduation. That's way too many tests for a student to take before they head to college. Another study done by the Council of the Great City Schools on 66 school districts reports that on average, students in grades 3 to 12 spent about 20 hours testing and took about 8 tests. There are ways to fix this problem, of which are even being applied now in certain parts of the country. One of the alternatives presented is stealth assessment. There are programs being sold that record students' answers that many believe can be tied to a larger national scale to help assess students without the stress of the high stakes of standardized testing. These tests are seamless so students don't even realize they're being assessed at the time. While this solution hasn't been fully implemented into schools yet, there are school systems doing new things that are working. There's an alternative being conducted now by the New York Performance Standards Consortium which is made up of 28 public high schools, which use performance-based assessments in place of most of the standardized tests to evaluate students. In a Washington Post article by Valerie Strauss, she states factual support for this alternative, stating that the consortium dropout rate is half that of New York public schools, and graduation rates for all categories of students are higher than for the rest of New York City. They also require students to take four PBATs, which are the actual performance-based assessment tasks. These PBATs involve an analytic essay, a social studies research paper, a science experiment, and applied mathematics problem. The PBATs are more than just assessments aimed to measure students' performances, but they are actually created from class readings and discussions. Standardized testing is even having effects in our backyard. The high school graduation point system currently in place in Ohio, combined with the high stakes testing, has dropped the proficiency rates significantly to the point at which one third of juniors throughout Ohio may not be able to graduate next year. In a Cleveland.com article by Patrick O'Donnell, he writes how these estimates have superintendents warning of a graduation apocalypse and the state considering rewriting requirements for the class of 2018. Alternatives to our standardized testing are out there and are working in our education systems better than standardized testing ever could. A constant overwhelming amount of testing needs to be reduced and then adapted what will really help improve the education of students everywhere.